Hi, I'm Lorelai, and I have a deep, dark secret. You see, I wasn't born into a typical happy family. While other kids got brand new presents from their parents on Christmas, my dad sneaked into their houses like the Grinch and stole their gifts. He was a cat burglar and proud of it. Look what I got for you, Lori Rory. These shoes will make you the most popular girl in school. These belong to the most popular girl in school. <laughs> she won't miss them. Besides, they suit you better. And mom acted like he was some rocket scientist. He's such a genius. He'll never get caught. Isn't he super smart, Lorelai? He's a petty criminal, mom. It's not like he's hurting anyone, sweetie. All these rich people can just rebuy these things. But they just <laughs> laughed in my face. What a bunch of crazy jerks. I was always scared that people would find out my dad was a crook, so I started saving money to move out at 18. But one day, dad came home with someone's super expensive wheelchair, and he didn't care that someone could end up in the hospital, or worse. So, one day, I called the police and gave them an anonymous tip. Within minutes, our house was surrounded by police cars. They broke our door down and caught dad trying to stuff all the stolen stuff in the back of the sofa. They arrested dad and took him away. And I was jumping for joy that he was finally paying for his crimes. Till I went to school the next day, and everyone was staring at me and whispering. Suddenly, the biggest bully ripped my backpack off. Your criminal dad steal this too? You act like such an angel, but you're worse than all of us. Criminal, criminal, criminal. I'm not a criminal. I'm not like my dad. I'm a good person. But no one believed me. I ran home and was shocked to see all our things in a moving van. I've decided to move to a town closer to the prison so we can visit Dad daily. I still can't believe one of his gang members reported him. I felt a tiny pinch of guilt, but I was happy we were moving away where no one knew me. I changed my name to Lila and I was ready to start my new life. But as soon as I got to the new school, someone threw a snowball in my face. What the heck? What's wrong with you? Why are you complaining, new girl? I fixed your face for you. Now you don't look like a constipated Muppet. And he just <laughs> walked away laughing like a maniac. I later found out that his name was Ethan and he was the spoiled son of a rich politician and he could get away with anything. In gym class, he went crazy and bought paint-filled balloons to hit people with instead. And the principal made the rest of us clean the mess while he sat around eating grapes. But as mean and as spoiled as he was, Ethan was also super dumb. That's wrong. It's the Pacific, not specific ocean. And the Earth isn't flat, it's round. Yeah, like your big nose. Why don't you keep that beak out of my paper and focus on yours, duck face? My nose is perfectly fine. Your grades, on the other hand, are terrible. <laughs> are you sure you're in the right class? Maybe you should go back to kindergarten and start over. Maybe you should shut your face. And he flipped the table but accidentally hit himself in the face with a leg. Ouchie. Ouchie? <laughs> oh, poor widow Ethan got a boo-boo. Everyone in the class burst out laughing. Suddenly, the big mean punk didn't look so dangerous. To my surprise, he turned on his heels and stomped away like an angry five-year-old. Things at home were horrible. Mom was working at the local 7-Eleven, and she stole from there all the time. Every day, Mom tried to convince me to visit Dad, and every day I said no. But that day, she was jumping around looking like an Energizer bunny on sugar. Oh my god, Lorelai. For the hundredth time, Mom, it's Lila now. Whatever, listen. I talked to Dad's lawyer, and he says, we can do one of those GoFundMe things to get money for his case. We have to make video appeals and tell the world he's innocent. Are you out of your mind? Dad was not innocent. He's a criminal and he deserves to be in jail. I changed my name so no one would know I'm his daughter. Do you think I'll go on TV and tell everyone I'm related to that crook? Lorelai, he's your father. And the way he was caught was so unfair, they didn't even catch him in the act. I don't care. I'm your daughter. And you never stop to think about how all of this affects my life. You're selfish, just like dad. I was so mad. I stormed off to my room and slammed the door shut. I hated it at home and I hated my family. I focused on my studies, and over the next couple of days, I noticed that Ethan wasn't coming into school. Hmm, good riddance. He was just an annoying distraction, but I kind of felt guilty for making fun of him. A few days later, the principal called me into her office. 
These are Ethan's homework assignments. The poor boy's been sick with the flu. I need you to take these to his house. What? Why can't that big baby come pick these up himself? Don't be rude, Lila. You're new here, and it would be good for you to make friends with someone as rich and influential as Ethan. Ugh, I'd rather puke, but I couldn't say no to the principal. So I went over to his place after school, and it was huge. The driveway was lined with shiny sports cars, and there was a pretty fountain in the garden with a fancy Christmas tree in the middle. I heard loud voices coming from a window, and what I saw made my skin crawl. Ethan was sitting slumped in a chair surrounded by two big boys, and he looked so miserable, I felt bad for the guy. You expect Dad to buy you a new gaming console when you've failed math again? He's probably gonna ship you off to a boarding school. Why are you so dumb, Ethan? Hey, bro, are you sure he isn't adopted? I'm not adopted, shut up. Is that any way to talk to your brothers? Let's dunk him in the pool to teach him a lesson. Get away from me, I hate all of you. He pushed his brother aside and ran out of the house, saw me, totally freaked and slipped into the fountain. He spluttered and coughed and when he stood up, a whole fish jumped out of his shirt. It was so funny, I burst out laughing. What the heck are you doing here? Are you spying on me? I have better things to do with my time. I brought you your homework. What's the point? I'm gonna fail anyway. You heard him. I'm always gonna be a dumb disappointment that dad's never gonna be proud of. You're not dumb. Nobody's dumb. You just need to be less of a jerk and maybe I could tutor you. I'm not a jerk on purpose. I just want dad to notice me again, so I act out. I even stole my last principal's car and crashed it. But dad was too busy to even call. I felt bad for Ethan and I also understood him. I knew what it was like to have a terrible father. Well, that's his loss. You can be pretty awesome if you put your mind to it, and I'll help. Do you mean it? You don't think I'm a lost cause? Because I've been really mean, and my brothers say I'm just unteachable. I'm not your jerk brothers. And sure, you were a meanie, but everyone deserves a second chance. Gosh, thanks, Lila. I'm sorry for being such a brat to you, but I promise I'll be the best friend you ever had. And he was true to his word. From that day on, Ethan and I were inseparable. Ethan started getting better grades and his dad started paying attention to him. And it had a great effect on him. I think I'll try out for the baseball team. That's what dad did when he was in high school. Look at what my dad gave me. It's our family crest. Dad says broccoli makes you strong. Mmm, yummy. Dad wants you to come for dinner tonight. Tonight, we have a chemistry test in the morning. We can study for it after dinner. Please come, dad really wants to meet you. I could tell how much it meant to Ethan. He was obsessed with pleasing his dad and I didn't want to disappoint him, so I agreed. But later that day, I was eating lunch in the cafeteria when suddenly everyone started staring at me. Kids were pointing at me and whispering in each other's ears. Suddenly, one of the girls came and snatched my sandwich out of my hand. Criminals like you don't deserve to eat with good people like us. I bet you stole this sandwich anyway. What are, you, what are you talking about? Your mom is all over social media trying to get money for your criminal dad. Does your family have no shame? She showed me her phone and my stomach dropped to my knees. Mom was standing in front of our house with a picture of me and dad crying about how I was sick and my last wish was to see my dad released. I couldn't believe she was using me like this. I bet she steals the test papers the night before. That's why she's the top scorer, cheater. The daughter of a criminal will always be a criminal. Let's throw her in the dumpster. That's where trash like her belongs. They tried to grab my arms, but suddenly Ethan jumped on the table with water guns and drenched all of them. Come on, Lila, let's get out of here. We ran out of the school and I was shaking so badly my teeth were chattering. How could mom do this to me? I had the worst parents in the world. Ethan patted my head awkwardly and calmed me down. Hey, it's gonna be okay. No, it's never gonna be okay. I hate my dad and I hate my mom for doing this to me. I've been saving up for years and as soon as I turn 18, I'm leaving. You can leave right now, just come live with me. We have like 10 rooms that are never used. You can sleep in one of them. You, you don't hate me? You don't think I'm criminal scum? Of course not, you're my friend, Lila. I'll never turn my back on you. It's Lorelai, actually. I changed my name. Lori, Laura, that's weird. I'm just gonna call you Lila. I was so happy I hugged him. I went home to pack my bags and leave, but mom was waiting for me. Oh, sweetie, look. We've got so many likes and almost a hundred dollars. 
If the donations keep coming, <laughs> I won't have to work anymore. And you're proud of being a lying freeloader? You and dad are the worst. Hey, the world isn't fair. Why do we have to be? The rich have it easy. So what if we take a few things they won't even miss? Your dad's a good man, and when I find out who called the police, I ratted him out. It was me, and I don't regret it. I'm leaving. I can't live with you anymore. You called the police? You ungrateful brat. Do you think you're better than us? Fine, go. I'll see how long you survive being honest in this world. I grabbed my bags and left. Mom's rejection hurt, but I felt like a fool thinking she would change. She was just as bad as Dad. At least I had Ethan. But at Ethan's house, I walked in on Ethan being yelled at by his dad. Criminals and lowlifes, did you think for one minute what this would do to my career? I should have listened to your older brothers. You haven't changed one bit. But she's my friend. She has nowhere to go. She can go live in an orphanage or a homeless shelter. I'm sorry, young girl, but you cannot live here. And that's final. Ethan bent his head in defeat and refused to look at me. And my heart sank. He would never go against his father. I shouldn't have relied on him when I couldn't even rely on my parents. I picked up my bags and was about to leave and saw Ethan had slammed his family crest badge on the table. Lila stood by me when you ignored me. She believed in me when my own family didn't. So if she isn't welcome here, then I'm leaving. We can go live at a homeless shelter together. I'd love to see what the press thinks of a famous politician's son living in a shelter home. He took my hand and tears filled my eyes. I couldn't believe it. Ethan's dad didn't look happy, but the threat of a social media scandal finally convinced him. Fine, but she stays here as your tutor. I might even start a rehabilitation campaign and talk about how I helped her. Yes, this could be good for the election campaign. <sighs> Whatever, Dad. Come on, Lila. I'll show you to your room. I settled in with Ethan, and it was the best. We helped each other, and his dad finally warmed up to me and even paid for my college. I'm a criminal lawyer now, and I make sure the bad guys stay behind bars where they belong. And Ethan... He's my husband now, and he's still cheering for me while he finishes his PhD. And every day I thank God that I gave the meanest boy in class a second <laughs> chance. <laughs>